this is going to be a multi episode tutorial and what we're going to eventually get up to is we're going to be animating rigging and animating this track hoe arm but we're going to start with the basics because to do this we're going to end up using some bones uh, we're going to show the use of dummies we're going to show the use of linking and we're going to show the use of look at constraints in order to make all of this work so we're going to start over here with just some simple shapes so we can, we can get some concepts down and we're going to start with two boxes and these two boxes are going to start independent of each other and we're going to link these two boxes so we're going to click the link tool up here and we're going to choose this box we're going to click and hold and drag to link that box now once we've done that we can take this box which is the one one we link to and when we move that you see the other box moves with it however if we click on this box which is the one that we started the link with we can move that independent so if this was an arm and we were to rotate this the top of the arm is going to move with the bottom of the arm but yet we can still bend it at the elbow now we have another tutorial that shows how to change these pivot points if you were to want this to actually pivot at this edge here but you can see how the linking works now we're going to delete this we're going to show this again by creating a flatter box we're going to create a cylinder and then we're going to make a copy of that box on the side so essentially we've made a a little hinge here so when you link objects like we did with our two boxes that we had over here the first box that we click on to create our link so this box here to our right is going to be our child as we drag we drag the child to the parent where the parent goes the child goes however the child can go off on his own so we'll use that here if you look over here in our hierarchy this box 3 which is our parent has the child underneath it so we see box 4 as being the child and that occurred when we linked it so if we come over to our cylinder if our cylinder was our parent and we wanted to make this small box a child of that we would start with the child we can see it here we drag that to the parent and notice that the box one goes under the cylinder one we'll do the same thing with the box here that's the child we'll go to the parent and notice we're starting this hierarchy so the cylinder is up top which is the parent and then you have the two children underneath if we rotate our parent our children rotate with it however we're going to move the pivot point of our box we'll change this to local because I've already rotated it here So now if we rotate our child is independent of the either the parent or the other child and we can do the same with this one I 
Oh, we're going to delete that. I'm going to set up a real quick little robot. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but we're going to use it to look at the hierarchy of the links. So what we're doing here is we're just creating a few segments of the arm. We'll create some cylinders that go in between just to create some kind of joint for the arms to rotate around. And we'll also make sure that our pivot points are where we want them to be. So I'm going to make sure that our pivot points are at the center or close to the center of our little cylinders here that we've got as hinges. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do with this is this is the base of our robot arm. Let's actually add a little claw mechanism here just to add a little bit of interest. Go. Now I'm going to connect these. This little claw mechanism here, I'm going to connect it all to make it all one piece. Uh, the way I'm going to do that, make sure they're touching each other. They don't have to be touching each other to do this, but uh, we're going to go over to our compound objects. We're going to select our main cylinder here. We're going to click connect, pick operand, and we're going to select both pieces there. Make sure you turn this pick up or not. Notice they changed to the same color because now they're the same piece. We'll go back and we'll adjust our pivot point on this object. We want that to be um, probably close to the center here. All right, there we go. So now we're going to select our base and that's going to be our parent. We're going to have a child of, of this piece right here to the parent. We're going to have this be the child of this. We're going to have this be the child of this. Um, also, what we want is we want this cylinder to control the entire rig when we rotate it on the bottom here. So. Let's start with our um, arm here, our little hand here, and we'll choose our link and we'll link that to this. And the way that works is now if we rotate this arm, our hand goes with it. However, our hand will be able to rotate by itself. All right, so now I want this joint to be the child of this piece. So what that gets us is when we rotate that arm, that child goes with it. However, notice that the rest of the arm doesn't go with it, so we need to fix that. All right, in order to fix that, we're going to click on our cylinder again here. Notice it's over here on our hierarchy, it's selected. 
we're going to unlink the selection. So we've lost that connection there. And we want our box here to be the child link to the cylinder. And then we want the cylinder to be a child link of this box. We want this box to be the child link of this cylinder. And we want this cylinder to be the child link of this box. So let's look and see how everything operates here. If I rotate this cylinder, the entire arm above that rotates. If I rotate this cylinder, the entire portion of the robotic arm above that rotates. So we can see how all of those affect each other. So now we want this box to be the child of this parent, which is our the base of our robot. So now when we rotate our base, the robotic arm rotates with it. Now it's also important to point out at this point that if you're wanting to link these and use animation with this, so if we wanted to animate this robot, we could do a simple keyframe animation, which is fine, but all of these links really need to be set up before you do that animation. You can turn links on and off constraints during animation, and we'll cover that in a later video. And we can see this is just simple keyframe animation.